Colin Clark of Southampton returns from injury to form a new partnership up front with Kevin Wilson of Ipswich Town. And they'll be hoping to bring to an end an Irish goal drought of just one goal in five matches. Each has managed 21 for his club this season. For Mal Donachy, it's a notable evening. His 50th appearance for his country, and he swells an exclusive club to 15. The president of the club, of course, Pat Jennings. Yugoslavia's visit to Wembley in November brought the best international there for years. And seven of their number there start here at Windsor Park, including the Vujovic twins, who play their football for Bordeaux in France. Slatko, the forward, leads their championship scorers with a hat-trick against Turkey, although we must now be doubly pleased that he missed so many chances at Wembley. The team is drawn from eight clubs in four different countries. It's the evening after the afternoon before, with England looking to Northern Ireland to clear the head after the hangover in Izmir. But the Yugoslavs now know that their chance of qualifying is back in their own hands. And the Irish, for the record, now feel that their scoreless draw against Turkey away has been put in proper perspective. Sanovic deciding to leave it. He starts the match for his country for the first time. Northern Ireland attacking the goal to our left. Colin Clark laying it back. Forward for Wilson. It's uh, swirling a bit. Won by Clark. Stojkovic. Through to Asanovic. There's a gap appearing on the left side, but it wasn't played there. David McCreary. Nigel Worthington, who's been pleasing the Irish manager, Billy Bingham. And this is the other Vujovic. Losing out to Wilson. The Irish with plenty of players forward. All the officials tonight come from West Germany. The referee is Werner Sürkler. Worthington. That's curling quite a lot. Clark looking for it. Clark with a chance. Katanets covers his goalkeeper. Just ran away a little bit from Clark and wasn't able to get in in a shot at the end. So a promising beginning for Northern Ireland. But then they had that against England and then rather fell away. Also in possession now is the sweeper. Jankovic, the main provider from midfield, now plays for Real Madrid. And that's a useful ball to Panchev. Still with the chance, and he hit the outside of the post. And that's a gift for the goalkeeper. George Dunlop. And uh, Darko Panchev. Seems to have done it all right, but denied by the woodwork. That off for Billy Bingham. Nicely played down by Wilson to Clark. Really late grab by Ivkovic. And the crowd certainly justified in warming to their side. Wilson. Three waiting. Worthington came off Katanets. A dive in by McCreary, too keen for his own good. This is Zlatko Vujovic. They've got a man over here, Yugoslavia. Stojkovic, number seven. Still has the chance, wanted an extra touch. Saved on the line and cleared. Fleming has stopped it on the line. And McDonald has got it away. Stojkovic really took too long. The extra touch here. Killed it there, came inside his man. Now he wanted one more, and he didn't have time for that one more. It enabled Fleming and Donaghy to get back. It was Donaghy who got it off the line. Worthington. Donaghy outside. Three in the middle. 
Well left. Wilson. Campbell. Yes, no, he hit the post. Clark missed this time. And Farrelly deserves. What a good piece of play. Colin Clark, it's his third goal. Wilson set up Campbell. The goalkeeper well beaten. Came back off the inside of the post. Clark able to get there and put it back past the despairing goalkeeper. His third goal for his country and Northern Ireland's first in these European Championship qualifying matches. Goal hugely well received around Winter Park and well deserved. Reception at Lancaster Gate will be quite uh, good too. Query. Not a good header, Wilson. Didn't come to him too kindly. Northern Ireland at the start of the second half in place of the injured David McCreary and on for Yugoslavia Zoran Bulic and he's replaced Sreko Katanets and both substitutions as a result of injury and Northern Ireland Get the second half going and Paul Ramsey's first touch is the back pass to George Dunlop. Kevin Wilson. Significant factor in the Irish performance in the first period. But Billy Bingham with reason to be pleased with several parts of the team. The left flank was working well in Donachie and Worthington. And David Campbell was showing up well on the right and it's the right that's caused him more problems and the lack of craft rather than graft in midfield. A kick against uh, Fleming. We're looking at Bayic here. Bayic was the player who played that lovely ball through to uh, Zlatko Vojevic the ninth minute of the game at Wembley when Chris Woods made such a good save how important it proved and the kick against Ramsey again and early dangers for Northern Ireland Stojkovic, it may well be the dummy, no it's not, he takes it and he hits the post and in it goes and Stojkovic has made up for his miss in the first half and Yugoslavia immediately back on terms with a finely taken free kick by the 21 year old from Red Star Belgrade hit the inside of the post, Dunlop was very static and the ball came across behind him over the top of the wall, really no chance for the goalkeeper. Stojkovic was unlucky he didn't go in cleanly. It's a beautiful free kick. Talent, Irish captain. Clark, feeding off Wilson, Campbell, Whitesides cross, and it's a corner, Whitesides header rather, from Campbell's cross. Goalkeeper well, made a bit of a meal of that, squirted under his palms, and pushed away actually, it was perhaps a Harder for the goalkeeper than it looked from the original angle. Clark Wilson! <laughs> 
Hasanovic. Zoran Vujovic. Stojkovic. Well won by Ramsey. And tidied by Whiteside. Who is a growing presence, I think. Elsner. Only to Campbell. Fleming comes forward. Wasn't a terribly good ball. Campbell. Very little room for manoeuvre. Blue ball. And the Yugoslavs with the greater need to get on with it. They need the victory here. To take full advantage of the uh, point drop by England. The foul throw by Baich. Ramsey it's nicely up from uh, Fleming covered by Elster well one back over the ball has to cross the line he didn't clap actually Beckett seemed to stand still then but his goalkeeper didn't free kick given and let's look again at that last incident, the ball well won back by Ramsey. And look at the number six, Hachi Begic. He lets it go for his goalkeeper, who was on his line for a moment, but got there just in time. It's a corner. And the substitution to be made by Northern Ireland. Donachie in possession for them. Didn't get the touch from Wilson. Donachie's intended shot, surely. Wilson was about half a yard off it. Wellington's made a run down the left, but he wasn't seen. Ramsey. Good positive stuff. Clark. Oh, good strike, but wide. But we're into the last quarter of an hour, and any results possible. It could stay like this, it could go either way. And the substitution to be made. The Irish are bringing off David Campbell. And for the first time, the man just voted the Ulster Footballer of the Year. Raymond McCoy comes on to play for Northern Ireland. Now Sanovic comes off. Sanovic, who made his debut against uh, Austria, is replaced. By Smaic, who did likewise. Smaic playing in the same position. Bulic, Panchev, Danaki concedes the corner. Bulic there for the short one. Stojkovic will hit it longer. Bajic, and just past the far, far post, it was deflected. Bajic, very successful in the second period with the headers, and it actually came off Worthington, I think. Jankovic right in front of Dunlop. Oh, and it's beautifully turned in by Vojovic, the captain. With a lovely header. I don't think Dunlop saw too much of it. Jankovic there right in front of him and the flick on. And it's 2-1 to Yugoslavia. Free kick. Against Panchev who jumped first to his man and not for the ball. And McDonald with the kick. Clark scored the first goal of the contest. Was underneath it then. 
Nicely done. White side. Hit the post. Took his time. Took a moment to realise, I think, what a good chance it was, but then hit it very well away from the goalkeeper, back off the foot of the post. Jankovic. The referee has his whistle in his lips. Checks again at the watch. And Yugoslavia have gained two vital points. Surviving a not inconsiderable threat from Northern Ireland to come back in the second half and win by two goals to one. And that's definitely not the result Northern Ireland or England were looking for. England's lead cut to three points. Yugoslavia with a game in hand. And remember, Yugoslavia still...